What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So basically, I went back to Toy Kingdom yesterday night, um, and I had not been there for about a month or two, so it's been a minute, and I was able to go back. And for those of you who do not know, Toy Kingdom is the largest independent toy store in the nation. Um, and that's like, basically they got that title because after Toy um, Toys R Us shut down, you know, there's not very many humongous like toy stores. Toy Kingdom, it is a chain in Ohio. I believe it's only in Ohio, but it's like a chain toy store. And the biggest, their biggest location is really close to, to where I live. So I go there every now and again. And every time I go, it is just a blast. I always get, um, I, I always walk out of there with something that you can't really find in Walmart and Target nowadays because um, the Star Wars market is just crazy. But they have an entire wall of, of all the latest Black Series, all the latest vintage collection. They have every Lego set that is out. Not only that is out, but that's retired as well. They have a lot of retired stuff. And then probably their biggest, like, draw to the store is their minifigure wall. They have a an entire wall of cases full of minifigures in new condition. There's a few that are used, but they're all in new condition. And that's really what why I go there to get a lot of my parts for, like, customs, such as my Red Dead minifigures. But I was able to go yesterday, which I was really excited about. And yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up. So the first thing we got here is this minifigure. I don't know who she is. Um, She might be from Black Panther or something. That's just a guess. I, I, I believe she's Marvel. But I got her for $5 and I got her for her headpiece. So I obviously have been making or I've made um, my Red Dead Redemption 2 minifigures back there. And one thing that I needed um, was for Tilly Jackson, I needed a face for her because I do not have very many black um, female hair or head pieces. They just don't make many. Um, and I, I had one and I was using it for my Jedi Survivor custom. Um, so I ended up um, for Tilly, I had been using Finn's face and it just did not look that good. So I had been meaning to get like a cheap minifigure that I could just do a real quick um, head swap with, which is what I'm going to do right now. So yeah, here's Tilly Jackson. I think she looks really good, except for the fact that she has a male face. So we're just going to swap these over here. And I like that it's smiling because I think Tilly is always kind of happy. Um, and then boom. So yeah, that looks way better. She's actually a female now. So yeah, there we have it. So that's why I got that minifigure. And also, I did not have this hairpiece. So this is a neat hairpiece. So I'm honestly just going to throw Finn's head on there. So there's that. So we upgraded Tilly there, um, which that was really... Um, I I'm really glad I was able to do that because I had been meaning to do that for a long, long time. So we'll put Tilly back in there. And the other figure I got was this... Um, Hawkeye from the new Marvel Wave um, and I have been wanting this guy because of the hairpiece so whenever I saw the um, the, or I, I forget where I first saw this hairpiece maybe it was in the A-frame cabin I think one of the kids had um, this hairpiece I could be mistaken but I saw this hairpiece and I was like that looks good for a Jedi Survivor Cal Kestis um, but I didn't want to get the A-frame cabin just to get that hairpiece. So whenever they eventually made this Hawkeye, I kind of just wanted to, you know, get it whenever I could. And they had it for five bucks new, um, at Toy Kingdom. So I went ahead and got it. Also, he just has like a cool dual molded situation. And I, I feel like I just find myself using these pieces at some point in the future. And the bow and arrow situation is cool. Um, and the face, I do like the face because he does have blonde eyebrows, which is, a little bit hard to come by. I feel like a lot of blonde eyebrow situations are always from a Luke Skywalker, so that's good. Um, but what I mean is that um, in Jedi Survivor, so here's my Jedi Survivor custom cow, and um, I just don't like this hairpiece. I don't think it really works that well. And even whenever I made this figure, I, I said I don't think this hairpiece works that well because first of all, the hair is going the opposite direction that his hair flows. His fair his hair flows the other way in Survivor, and also. Um, it's not, like, his hair's more, like, like, I, it's just more like this. Like, it's more up. It's more up and over, not kind of flat, bent down. Um, so I am going to have to paint it because it is not the right color. But I do think that that looks a lot better. Like, even in the back, just, like, it just looks more like how his hair's styled. So I am going to have to paint it to match the beard and stuff. Um, 
but overall I do think that this hair piece works better so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'll probably make an update video or short or something whenever I do eventually paint that um and then as for this head I wanted to throw it on this sort of like Miami gangster dude that I made because the GTA 6 trailer did drop and obviously I did make my um video making my custom Jason a few months ago actually um and then I I, I might make a Lucia or something but I kind of just like added this guy there with him but yeah let me guys let me know if you guys want to see me make a Lucia from um or not a Lucia but a Lucia from GTA 6 because I'll do that if you guys want. Um, and then the next thing, I, I did not get this from Toy Kingdom, but my dad surprised me with it this morning. It is the new um, holiday edition um, snow trooper. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, he's like a, a snowman. Um, the first wave of holiday edition figures did come with a snow trooper, but it was like, it was different. Um, so this is pretty neat. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, pretty festive, you know what I mean? And obviously it has the signature packaging style that they do for these holiday troopers and the last figure i got which i did get at toy kingdom and i almost missed it like i almost didn't see it because there were so many black series but i saw it and i was really glad i saw it because this is one i've been wanting is the black series pre vizsla so yeah this one is really sick i'll just get a close-up here the face looks so realistic i mean it's crazy with like the five o'clock shadow you got going on really cool helmet um, there's his, like, design on his, on his body. Of course, the dark saber, which looks spectacular. He has his jetpack and his dual-wielded, um, guns there. So, yeah, really, really cool. This is based off of him from the Clone Wars, obviously. And, yeah, I remember going to Big Fun a few years ago and seeing this figure, um, but it was his 3.75-inch figure from the Clone Wars. That thing was expensive as crap, so it's really cool to be able to get a pre -Vizsla. You know, I, I, I never thought I'd be able to get a pre -Vizsla, so to get it is really really neat let me just look okay he doesn't have his cape i was trying to see if he has his cape but he does not which that's fine it's a side box art and i was gonna open this guy but now that i'm looking at him i think i'm gonna keep him sealed and i might just put these two um up on the wall above um ahsoka and ezra so yeah but that is my little haul here very thankful for it um yeah i think that these this is just like a nice little um haul and yeah, so if you guys did go and enjoy the video, make sure to hit like and be on the lookout for whenever I update that Cal Kestis minifigure. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.